Hey, this is Matt Boggs, and last night I took my daughter to her very first theatrical experience, and we saw the movie Finding Dory. It was my wife, my daughter, and I. It was awesome. My daughter loved it, and I'm going to show you some pictures of my daughter's face after the, at the end of this video after watching the movie. So today I'm going to share with you three life lessons that we learned from the movie Finding Dory. And spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, you may not want to watch this video because there may be a couple spoilers here along the way. Number one, hidden within every challenge is an opportunity. There's this great scene where Dory and this septopus, like an octopus with six legs, is, is they're trapped in this truck and they can't get out and the, Hank, the, the septopus says, well, Dory, this is it. We're trapped. There's no way we're gonna get out. And Dory flashes back to a memory that she had when she was a little kid or a little fish and where her father taught her a lesson that there's always another way. There's always another way to solve this challenge and so that caused her to start looking around. She looked up and there was a way out through the little vent in the top of the truck. Hank and Dory climbed up. It helped that Hank is like this ninja octopus and he jumps out and climbs out and they're freed. But what a great lesson for you and I that hidden within every challenge is an equal or greater opportunity if we have eyes to see and if we're willing to look for it. Important life lesson number two is take the step you can take this day. There's a moment in the movie where Dory gets separated from Marlon and Nemo, and she believes that her parents are in some other state in the Midwest, and she slips through these, these water tunnels, and now she's in Morro Bay in California, and she's all alone, and it's, it's sad, it's lonely, there's no one around, and she's lost her family, she's lost her friends, and she's wondering what she can do. So she's at the low point of her life. And she looks left and she sees the dark, scary ocean. And she looks right and she sees some kelp. And she goes, well, I like kelp. So she moves in the direction of the kelp. She doesn't know how she's going to find her family. She doesn't have a plan, but she just takes the action. She goes into the kelp and looks left and there's a, some sand and looks right. And there's an old tire. And she goes, well, I like sand and sand is soft and squishy. So I'll move in that direction. And what I love about this she moves in that direction, she doesn't overthink it, she doesn't overanalyze it, but it's making these little decisions like this that ultimately leads her to her family who's in the kelp, who've been waiting for her in that kelp the whole time. And what a great lesson for you and me to not overanalyze, to not think, but to take the step we can take in the direction of our dream this day. Teddy Roosevelt said, the best thing you can do is the right thing. But the second best thing you can do is the wrong thing and the worst thing that you can do is no thing. So don't overanalyze, don't wait until you have the whole plan mapped out. Take the step that you can take this day in the direction of your dream and it will pay off. And life lesson number three is to thine own self be true. There's this great principle that Dory discovers throughout the movie which is to ask herself what would Dory do in this situation and that helps get her out of some tight pinches. One specific example is her and Hank, the septopus, find themselves in this petting aquarium where these kids can reach in and actually touch the marine life. And so they don't want to get touched. They're freaked out. And so Dory asks herself, what would Dory do? And she takes some action that helps her escape that situation. But I love this question because in the book, The Originals, written by author Adam Grant, he highlights how people make decisions. And there's two ways that people make decisions. One is through a logic of consequence, where a certain type of person will look at the situation and they'll say, woo, if I act in this situation or I take this action, what might go wrong? How might I get hurt? You know, how could I fail? What would I look like if I failed? And they measure what's called the logic of consequence. The other type of person looks at an opportunity and they make their decision based on what they call the logic of appropriateness. In other words, what does a person like me do in a situation like this. Now, the logic of consequence, when you use that logic, you will always find a reason not to act. You will always find a reason to stay stuck. You'll always find a reason to not move forward in your life. But when you use a logic of appropriateness, that cultivates courage. That cultivates the, the action that you want to take, the bravery, the motivation that you need to move forward is what would a person like you do in a situation like this? I love that question.
So when you're faced with an opportunity or something challenging where you're wondering what the right decision to make is, ask yourself that question. What would a person like me do in a situation like this? And then act on that. So there you have it, three life lessons from the movie Finding Dory. And as I promised, here's a photo of my wife, my daughter, and I before we went into the movie. And you can check out the excitement on our faces. And then here is my daughter after we got out of the movie. Look at this face, look at this smile, and look at this excitement in this one. Check out that little face. She is just going bonkers. She loved it. So now my question for you is, what movie have you watched that you loved that had a life lesson in, in it that you took away from? Go ahead and post a comment below. I'd love to read that comment. Make sure to share this video with someone that you care about so that it can inspire them as well. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you get subscribed so you can be the first every week to get the latest and greatest videos that come out. And as always, there's a great link in this video. We've linked it up for you and down in the description to some resources that can help you expand the love in your life. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.